All right, y'all, Aaron Shriver, Melodies and Memories. We're here with Austin Snell. What What's up, is man? up, buddy? What's up, brother? First time in Milwaukee? First time here, first time Summerfest. Dude, uh, are you like excited? You pumped? Busy. Yeah. You're going on, what, 8 o'clock tonight? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, dude. Yeah. It's going to be prime. Everybody's going to be ready. It's Milwaukee. This is a drinking town, so they're going to fit perfect here. Yeah, well, I'm trying to find a Jack and Coke somewhere. Uh, I'm sure uh, you're going to have to go far into this fest. They don't even have them, right? No? I'm sure, I'm sure we'll you can find, find something. Yeah. So when you are growing up, I mean, have you just been a go-to music festival that you've ever gone to, that you love going to? or Man, we we didn't have, at least I didn't know of any growing up. I grew up in Dublin, Georgia, so there's not yeah. a whole lot going on down there. <laughs> uh, but I, I think my first concert ever was Billy Carrington when I was like six years yeah, old. Dude, so, that's awesome. Yeah. I had a chance to go to 99 Woodstock, and my dad wouldn't oh, let me no, go. Sure. And now that I see the see the whole uh, documentary, I'm like, I'm kind of glad I'm, I probably yeah. didn't go. Yeah. So you've been in Nashville for almost a year now, a little over a year now, right? A little over a year. So relatively new to Nashville, new artists on there. Um, what challenges have you faced in the first year? And uh, what do you think you'll um, be different in your number two i think the biggest challenge so far has been trying to be different when a lot of people are doing the same thing um it's very much a systematic town yeah. for the most part and uh, a lot of people try to kind of fit the mold once they get there and kind of you know do what everybody else is doing and i wanted to set an example kind of do my own thing and that's kind of been the biggest challenge is finding people that are also willing to do stuff that is that's different you starting to get your groove a little bit too yeah, down yeah, there yeah. nice i got nice. a whole writing crew now so we all we all write together every week so. nice but i love that i love it so you've been praised for fusing hard rock uh rocking sonic aggression with a deep feeling confessions of country troubadours uh calling it grunge country man i grew like i said 99 yeah. freaking woodstock and everything i grew up around the grunge man yeah. what artists have, what, what artists influence your musical style and how do you infuse them into your music today um so I, I tell this story a bunch i've told it a lot uh but we used to travel a lot growing up i raced go-karts dirt track oh, yeah. and um back when cds were a thing we had four of them that we kind of like rotate through in my yeah. dad's truck on the way to these races and uh we had three doors down he was a huge three doors down oh, yeah, dude. he's a big nickelback fan a big creed fan and then my mom was a huge alan jackson fan so yeah, that was yeah. kind of like the four like <laughs> CDs that we had growing up, and that kind of like explains me as an artist. I think the best yeah. way is like it's mainly rock, but like a little bit of a storyteller country side. I love that, dude. You're so. playing some shows with Nickelback too. Yeah, we're it's going out full on, circle uh, a little bit. Huh? Show with them in September <laughs> in uh, Birmingham. Okay, Alabama. hell yeah, so. dude. That's badass. Yeah, yeah that's be I'm fun, excited. dude. I've always been a Nickelback fan. I don't know why they got so much hate on them, man. I like them, man. They jam. Everybody loved them. Yeah, they jam, dude. dude. It was so. just a cool thing to do to hate them. So June 30th, you got three new songs coming out. Tell me a little bit about this hotel room and Key West. Yes, man, how this, these things came about. Yeah, so uh, we were have, we had a song meeting at my label, and we were trying to figure out, you know, what was going to go on this project and this project, and we had songs left over that I fell in love with, and I'd been listening to them on my phone for, you know, however long, and uh, I loved them, and I wanted them to be out, and so I told them that, and we were like, I was like, what do we have to do to have these songs come out? And they were like, well, we're going to Key West in a week, um, let's bring a producer down there, and we'll record them acoustic, and <laughs> just see what happens we'll just put them out so they're kind of just demos off my phone that are kind of just something I wanted to get out oh yeah man I do I love it because that whiskey in a wine glass I love that title man because that's just yeah. that's perfect dude yeah. I listen to little clip, clips of that I'm like that's gonna be a badass yeah, song I love it, man. I'm I love for it. so looking to the future what are your goals as an artist and how do you hope to continue evolving your sound and style man um I think the biggest goal for me man is just to continue to to push as much as I can the boundary of what is classified as country music and continue to be as authentic as I can it would be my biggest goal um, and I feel like it's just going to get better and better the more I write so it's going to evolve I'm going to do some things that you know might not work sometimes or might work a lot better and just kind of filling that out because I literally just moved to town a year ago so I'm kind of learning everything at once yeah, like dude. the whole live performance thing the recording thing the writing thing all at one time so, <laughs> so we're, we're still learning we're oh, yeah, trying dude. to figure ourselves out but we well, already here in Milwaukee and Summerfest yeah, dude, man the biggest music fest I ever man Good so be worse, man. hell yeah well hey thanks for spending some time with us yeah. austin snell y'all check him out if you're here in milwaukee eight o'clock so thanks guys